Okay, hi everyone. I have the uh, privilege of being with you today. My name is Martin uh, Tremblay. I've been part of the Elder Board for a couple of years here at Trinity. So I'm super happy that I get to talk to you this morning. Uh, we'll see how it goes. My, uh, the verse that I've chosen are the verses or Matthew 6, 33 and 34. So why did I choose these verses? You know, like I could have chosen a lot of verses that keep talking to me uh, often in my life. But this one, this part in the Bible is probably the one that has spoken to me the most often. I have a, a perfectionist personality and I tend to transform small things into big things pretty easily. So countless of times in my life, I had to rely on this passage of the scriptures. Uh, the other thing is, you know, I don't know about you, but for me, life gets busy. You know, you got work, you got your, your, your volunteering in all kinds of places. You have kids, you have all kinds of relationships and, uh, and, and life gets sometimes chaotic and we tend to worry. I do, at least. So, and, and that's why I go back to that verse quite often. Or actually, God brings me back to it. So, uh, I'll just read it. Matthew 6, 33 and 34. I'm using the NIV. Seek first His kingdom and His righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its, of its own. So the, all these things here in, kind of refers to the previous verses in Matthew 6, where it talks about, you know, eating, about what to wear, about where to live, kind of like about the things of life, the, the earthly uh, things of life that we tend to worry about. Even though we, you know, not many people have to worry about food and what to wear, uh, we still worry a lot more than a lot of countries. I'm always surprised to see whenever I go to Africa, they have so much less than I do and that most of you do. And they are, they teach me every time about, you know, not worry and about trusting God. So uh, I was, you know, I went to the the, ver the message version of, of uh, Matthew 6.33 and it says, Steep your life in God reality, God initiative, God provisions. Don't worry about missing out. You'll find all your everyday human concerns will be met. Give your entire attention to what God is doing right now. Don't get worked out about what may or may not happen tomorrow. God will help you deal with whatever hard things come up when the time comes. So as you, as you see there, seeking God first or seeking his kingdom first. You know, sometimes we, we might think that it means to pray or to go to church or, or, or something like that. But it, it could look a lot different than that. It's really about seeking about where, where, where does God want me to, to, where does he want me today? Where does he want me to focus? Where, where do you want me to serve today? And as we do that, he takes care of all, of all the other things. You know, like there's a, there's a great passage in, in Psalm 127, verses 1 and 2. Unless the Lord builds the house, the builders labor in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city, the guards stand, watch in vain. In vain you rise early and stay up late, toiling for food to eat, for he grants sleep to those who he loves. And this, this promise is, is very closely related to seeking his kingdom first, meaning that, you know, we, we, we could actually like, if we listen to our kind of natural incline, we, we would not sleep because we've got no time to sleep. There's, there's an endless list of things to do, and it's never over. And, and this verse in Matthew 6, God is saying, you know, like, just relax and seek my direction. I will show you where to go. And for me, this, this is like 
kind of like rest to my soul whenever I decide to put faith into that part of the Bible. There's all kinds of other areas in the Bible that go obviously in that direction, but I just wanted to, to read a couple of quick ones here. Psalm 37, 5, commit your way to the Lord and he will. And, and I want to focus on, you know, kind of like this idea of seeking God first, committing ourselves to him, putting our faith and then him working while we're sleeping, him working while we're focusing exactly on something else than what we're actually we could worry about. Psalm 55, 22, cast your burden upon the Lord and he will sustain you. Proverbs 16, 3, commit to the Lord whatever you do, and he will establish your plans. There's countless of, of things like that. Psalm 4, the, uh, Philippians 4, 6, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, pr present your request to God. Be content with what you have, Hebrews 13, 5. So, you know, you, 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 we see that seeking his kingdom first has to be, at least for me, a reminder, you know, countless of times in the week and sometimes many times in, in the same day. I, you know, I was thinking about two words recently about the, the word stress and then the word strength and how they are very similar. You know, they, they, they have almost the same spelling. And when you seek his kingdom first, it's choosing his strength, working on our behalf for whatever is ahead of us in that day, today or tomorrow or this month. And when we don't choose this way, we actually automatically choose stress over strength. And we all know what stress produces. It definitely doesn't help us in our worries. It doesn't help us in our relationships. It doesn't help us anywhere. It doesn't help us in our relationship with God. So is there an area today in your life, you know, that is bringing worries? Uh, what about seeking him first today? And how, how would that look like to seek him first today? And you know, it could be amazing to see him work in the little worries or the big worries that you have and, and let him work as you seek his kingdom first. So, you know, let's choose today strength over stress as we seek his kingdom first. So let's pray together this today. Dear Lord, we thank you so much that we can come to you today. Thank you that you work on our behalf Thank you that as we seek your kingdom first, you said that you would work all these things for us. And we thank you for the peace, the rest that you bring into our life. And thank you for your love and your care for each one of us. And may you bless each one of us as we go in this day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.